I'm going to use a, a couple LoRa transceivers for a SCADA system. Now SCADA stands for Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition and I have a couple E220-900T 22D they're in the 900 megahertz band and uh, 22 uh, dBm. The 22 dBm is about 158 uh, uh, milliwatts. So we're going to take a look. Here's the unit here and uh, we're going to take a look at the uh, factory default parameters. From the factory it comes set at uh, 873 uh, megahertz and with a baud rate of 9600. So if your area, in your area, the 90, uh, 873 megahertz is an unlicensed uh, data frequency that you can use, then we don't have to do anything. In my case, uh, here in the US, uh, the unlicensed portion of the band for, for data is 915 megahertz. So I have to change this from uh, the 873 to the, the nine, uh, 915 megahertz. So, no. Eventually, we can do that with the Arduino, but we're just going to do it uh, with their website right now. So I'm going to just uh, Google in eByte uh, E220 software, and we're going to download the software package. Okay, so you, you pick the unit you're using, the E220-900T, and a page like this is going to come up. And on this page, it's going to have uh, the address. We don't care about the key. We don't care about the baud rate. It's going to be 9600 and there's nothing on here that says, says uh, frequency but we use a channel to change the frequency so the base frequency is 850 megahertz so channel if you put a, a one in there channel one is 851 megahertz so in this case you'll see when it comes up you'll see that that it's already loaded in at uh, 20 channel 23 23 plus plus the uh, 850 is uh 873 megahertz okay of course it's 0.25 megahertz 0.125 on the end of that now i, I want to have uh, uh 915 megahertz so in this channel here i'm going to add uh, 60 uh, 65 in there 65 and the and the uh, uh 850 will give me 915 so that's going to be uh that's all i have to do for the uh, uh to change the frequency there and I'm not going to change any other parameters, just the frequency. Now, of course, on this unit here, this is a, a USB to UART that we plug into this thing. And on here, there's a, a, a little switch here. And uh, you have to put it in the 3.3 mode. You don't want to, you want to put 3.3 volts in here. So you can, this thing here, is, there's a little jumper here. For, and you have to have that jumper in a 3.3 volts. Otherwise, you'll, you'll wreck the unit. So make sure that's a 3.3 and then you can program it now of course if uh, you know 873 is good in your location you don't have to do anything so what we're going to do now is we're going to wire up the uh, the transmitter so i have this is just a uh, little uh, dc to uh, dc converter here so i can put in uh, you know up to 24 volts there and get five volts out and then just you know pause it over to five volts on the arduino and negative to the ground and same with the transmitter it can take up to uh, 5.5 uh, volts. Here's a spec sheet on it. It can take uh, between uh, 2.3 and 5.5 volts on the uh, on the power supply. So we're going to put 5 volts in there. Ground to VCC, and then I'm going to go from the uh, TX on the uh, Arduino to the RX on on our transmitter here. Okay, but the communication level back on the spent sheet is uh, communication level is 3.3 volts so we can't exceed the 3.3 volts so now Arduino is going to put out 5 volts so on the TX here so what we're going to do is we're just going to put a voltage divider here so I've got a uh, 5k and a, and a 10k it's actually 5.1k and a 10k here in a voltage divider and then you can here's the math for it here and when you do that you get out 3.3 volts so it'll take the 5 volts here and give me 3.3 volts here on RX. So we just go from TX to RX over there. Now, there's a, a M0 and M1, those are mode switches, and uh, eventually we're gonna probably use those in the SCADA system, but uh, for now, we're just gonna ground those together. We just gotta ground them so that uh, if, without, if you don't ground them, it's, it's not gonna work properly. And this auxiliary pin here, that can be floating, free floating, it doesn't matter. So, 
Now we go to the receiver. So the receiver, we do the same thing. We got DC here, DC to DC, five volts. I'm powering up the Arduino with five volts, and I'm powering up the uh, the transmitter or the receiver here with five volts, ground to VCC. And then from the uh, TX over here, we're going to go to RX on the Arduino, and the Arduino can handle the 3.3 volts out of here. So that's all we have to do. We don't have to uh, do any just a direct wire, and of course we have to ground uh, M0 and M1 have to be grounded. So we're going to ground those. And that's all there is to the uh, to the wiring. So, once that's uh, wired up, we need to uh, add some code to the uh, to the Arduino. So I'm going to keep it as simple as possible. You know, it's uh, it's easier to debug uh, two lines of code than it is to debug you know two pages of code. So, all I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, use my serial begin at 9600 baud, the baud rate of the the unit here, and then I'm going in my void loop. I'm just going to say print print an H. Wait a second, and then print an L. Okay, H for high and L for low, and then over here on the receiver, I'm going to program put in uh, program it with uh, this code here. Now, this code is just right out of the examples on the Arduino IED. You go to examples, communication, physical pixel, and that's it. I didn't do anything to it. I just use that same code in there, and what it does is it just uh, it looks at the uh, the incoming bytes. Uh, and it says if the incoming byte is an H, we digitally write uh, LED pin 13, which is a, the LED on here, high. And if it's uh, an L, we just write it low. That's all it is. But you don't, you just, I didn't touch the code. I just got it right out of the example. So the only thing I had to write was these two lines here. So now I'm going to, I have a couple um, Arduinos that, uh, I have them hooked up here and I'll turn that on. Now, this is the transmitter and this is the receiver. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see it blinking there. So that's all it's going to do. The LED is going to blink on and off. Now, I have this hooked up. I have the, uh, the trans this is the transmitter. I have the TX on here going to the RX on this one. And then I just have a ground wire between them. So these two wires are communicating. Now you notice that there's no voltage on this one. And uh, what happens here is we have five volts on the, uh, the TX over here and it goes into the RX over here. And that RX is tied to the, um, to the uh, gr uh, pos positive bus through the uh, uh, USB chip back here. Okay. So I'm running this, uh, I'm just powering this unit off of this unit here through the RX pin here, or the TX pin. The TX pin's got five volts on it, okay? Now, you, you can do this just to flash that light, but uh, of course you're limited to the, uh, the the current you can get out of the, the TX pin, which is probably about 10 milliamps or something. But anyway, I just put the code in there to see if it actually works. So it's working, it's blinking, and so I know that the code's good, and uh, that's it for, the, for those. So now, I'm going to put a couple, I got my units here, I'm going to plug in the, uh, I'm just using a 9 volt battery, and we'll see if, see if this works. Okay, so you can see the, I think you can see it flashing there. Uh, so I'm sending, uh, this is the transmitter and the receiver. So I'm sending an uh, H and an L over to this unit and uh, it's, it's working fine. So very simple setup, um, you know, especially if you don't have to change the frequency, then it's just, you know, just plug them in and, uh, you know, hook them up. Uh, the, uh, the transmitter goes from the, uh, the TX to the RX here with a voltage divider. And this one here goes from the TX from here to the RX on this one. And that, that's all there is to it. Now I'm going to take them out in the field and see if they actually uh, will, will go the distance. The uh, spec sheet says that they go uh, five kilometers. I don't believe that. But uh, I, I only have to go about, uh, you know, 400 uh, meters, 400 yards. So these sh that should work fine for the, uh, for the SCADA system that I'm building up. Anyway, that's, uh, that's a couple uh, LoRa transceivers. So easy to set up. Uh, 
you know, and this code is very easy to use because this is already done for you, and all you have to do is write two lines of code, and that's that's it. So, uh, thank you. That's the uh, Laura um, 915 megahertz transceiver. Thank you.